The story of the Spinosaurus is one that has captured the imagination of paleontologists and dinosaur enthusiasts alike. With its elongated snout, crocodile-like teeth, and massive sail-like structure on its back, the Spinosaurus stands out as one of the most unique and fearsome predators of the Cretaceous period. But what if this apex predator wasn't alone? What if this Spinosaurus had a sinister counterpart, an evil twin that shared its watery domain, but posed an equally lethal threat? Enter Sigilmasasaurus, a lesser known but equally fascinating theropod that roamed the same landscapes as Spinosaurus. Long overshadowed by its more famous relative, Sigilmasasaurus is now emerging as a dinosaur that could rival the Spinosaurus in both power and ferocity. This documentary unravels the mysteries surrounding these two colossal predators and explores the evidence that suggests they may have been locked in a deadly competition. Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, the lizard of the spine, dominated the lush river systems of North Africa around 100 million years ago. Measuring up to 50 feet in length and weighing several tons, it was larger than the legendary Tyrannosaurus rex. Its elongated jaws, filled with conical teeth, were perfect for snatching fish, and its paddle-like tail made it a formidable swimmer. This semi-aquatic predator thrived in a unique niche, feeding on giant prehistoric fish and other aquatic creatures. The sail on its back, though still debated by scientists, may have been used for thermoregulation, display, or even aiding in swimming. Spinosaurus was undoubtedly a master of its environment, or so we thought. In the same fossil-rich deposits of North Africa where Spinosaurus remains have been found, paleontologists unearthed the bones of another large theropod, Sigilmasasaurus. Initially, the discovery was met with confusion. The bones of Sigilmasasaurus were so similar to those of Spinosaurus that some researchers thought they were simply variations of the same species. However, recent studies suggest that these two creatures were distinct, albeit closely related, predators. Sigilmasasaurus lacked the dramatic sail of Spinosaurus, but it was no less formidable. Its robust skeletal structure suggests it was a powerful hunter, capable of taking down large prey. While Spinosaurus was more adapted to aquatic life, Sigilmasasaurus likely straddled both land and water, making it a versatile and opportunistic predator. This adaptability could have brought it into direct conflict with its prey. What happens when two apex predators share the same territory? Modern ecosystems provide a clue. Tigers and leopards, for example, often avoid direct competition by targeting different prey or hunting in distinct areas. However, when resources are scarce, confrontations can become inevitable and deadly. The fossil record suggests that the river systems of Cretaceous North Africa were teeming with life. Giant fish, crocodile-like reptiles and pterosaurs all coexisted alongside Spinosaurus and Sigilmasasaurus. But even in such a rich ecosystem, competition would have been fierce. Both predators likely hunted similar prey, and their overlapping niches would have brought them into frequent conflict. The face-off between these two giants would have been a battle of endurance, strength, and strategy. Despite the tantalizing evidence of their coexistence, many questions remain. Did Spinosaurus and Sigilmasasaurus evolve to exploit slightly different ecological roles, or were they in constant competition? Could they have engaged in direct combat, or did they avoid each other whenever possible? The answers may lie in further fossil discoveries. Teeth marks on bones, overlapping footprints, or even healed injuries could provide clues about how these predators interacted. Each new find adds another piece to the puzzle, painting a clearer picture of life in the Cretaceous rivers.
The story of Spinosaurus and Sigil Massasaurus reminds us that the prehistoric world was far more complex than we once imagined. These weren't just solitary giants ruling over their domains, they were part of dynamic ecosystems, filled with rivalries, adaptations, and survival strategies. As paleontologists continue to unearth the secrets of these twins, one thing becomes clear. The tale of Spinosaurus and Sigil Massasaurus isn't just about competition. It's a testament to the incredible diversity of life that once thrived on our planet, and a reminder of how much there is still to discover. So, was Sigil Massasaurus truly the evil twin of Spinosaurus? Perhaps. Or perhaps it was simply another chapter in the endless story of evolution, where survival often hinges on outsmarting the competition. One thing is certain, these two giants have left an indelible mark on the history of life on Earth.